This is Terror House Radio with Matt Forty and Bryden Proctor. Yeah, welcome to a Terror House Radio episode number 22. I'm Matt Forney, your charming and the quickest host and the founder and editor-in-chief of Terror House Press. Joining me is my co-host and producer, the... Uh, fuck it, I'm not even going to come up with a funny thing. Brian Proctor. How you doing, Brian? Oh my god, guys, audience, how good of an impression did I just do of Matt as a gay guy? I uh, I about a 5 out of 10. I killed it. I killed it. No, they thought it was they thought it was really you. Impressive. I'm such a good in in person impressioner. In person yes, impressioner. Yes. Yes, yes, with that with that lilt in your voice, you know, you you really you really get you really nailed it. I think I I think I I think I did. I was like, "Hello, welcome to Terror House Press Radio." My name is Lady Matt. I'm a Matt Thorne. I'm good. Welcome to my brothel. That's that's good. So I'm not only gay. I'm just running. I'm 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 running a whorehouse now. I'm a gay brothel in D.C. where Donald Trump goes to. (laughs) That's what you do. Somebody is going to listen to this and actually write a story about it, which I encourage, by the way. Good. We've been, we've been giving out we've been giving out Terror House story prompts like candy, uh, with all the the richness of the news in the past week. So like seize on this, you know. <laughs> the richness of the news is like riots, uh, job reports, uh, COVID. Matt's gay. <laughs> well, well, I, I I I came I came up with one that I think is actually pretty brilliant. Was that? Uh, here in Albania, uh, the law is that uh, all stores and restaurants have to offer hand sanitizer to clients when they walk on the door you know, mm. to protect against <clears throat> COVID. Um, I had an idea. What if there's a disgruntled Anifa supporting uh, clerk who just starts jizzing in the, the hand sanitizer? Um, pretty sweet restaurant. It's Pride <laughs> Month. I guarantee that someone is 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 I, I don't know what the law is in the U.S. I'm sure there's at least one locality in the U.S. that's making making stores do this, and I'm sure if that happens, there's going to be at least one person who does something disgusting like that. Dude, urinates pe- in it, spits in it. Yeah, people pee in like uh, uh, hand soap in bathrooms and shit way more than I'd like to think about. Yeah, it's going to be the new version of like spitting in uh, spitting in uh, someone's uh, in their food uh, at McDonald's. Yeah, see, that's annoying because, like, even at some of the nicer restaurants I've worked at, um, I, I mean, I never did it, but I've known people to, um, you know, fuck with food. Also, you got to mute when you do the fucking vape, Matt. I swear to God, I'm going to fucking kill myself and quit the podcast if you don't fucking do that. It's the worst shit in the world. But uh, Okay, sorry. Uh, but, uh, no, it's I, I, I don't want to be too specific, but... Um, a friend of mine spit in the governor's salad at a uh, not a nice restaurant, but a restaurant that I worked at. Um, yeah, uh, wasn't cool. I wasn't even on shift that night. I was getting high at home, and he came home and told me, and I thought it was pretty funny. But uh, looking back, it was not cool at all to do. Yeah, I mean it's. Uh... We were uh, to be fair. To be fair, we were twenty-two, you know. But like, that's who's handling a lot of your food is twenty-two-year-old drug addicts, you know. So I hate yeah. that. Yeah, but trust me, this this fucking if people are gonna people are gonna be doing this. Somebody's gonna be doing this, and and you can write a story about it at terrorhousemag dot com. Yeah, or about anything really. Just, yeah, yeah. Just... It's we've got we've got a rich series of of, of vignettes about uh, from Proteus Ju, uh, Ju, Julianus about uh, about random violence in the streets being stirred up by these riots. I mean, I've never by read way, anything that's on that website at all. I just I uh, what I do is like uh, when things come through, I just make sure that none of the names are ethnic, right? And then I just approve those. 
That's what I do over at our fascist, racist, extremist right-wing publication. Oh, good, good point. Um, this is something we I, I wanted to bring up just because it happened last weekend, but it happened after we recorded the podcast. We should probably mention it. Um, sure, you've all seen it by now. A uh, video that dude in Dallas, uh, it was uh, you know getting carrying a machete and getting chased uh, by our riders. Um, that dude writes for us. His name is C.A. Schultz. He admitted to this on his Twitter account before he deleted it. Uh, Through bullying. Yeah, he was. No, no, no. Uh, he, he, he deleted it because of the incessant fucking bullying and everybody. Like, and I'm fine with bullying. I don't care. The guy's a, yeah, uh, yeah, he, yeah. He's a dumbass for doing what he did. But I've never even talked to the guy. I've never even read the story. But, um, like, no, it was through, like, people were like, I demand he, uh, everyone cut ties with him that has ever, his, fuck his mother, you know. Yeah, we're not, we're not cutting ties with, first off, ties is kind of a strong word for a guy who wrote one story for us a year ago. It's not like he's on the inner council here making decisions. He's not appearing on the podcast, okay? He's not. He, you know, he and Bryden are not uh, smoking cigars uh, after hours. Like, that's it. Like, number one. Number two, I don't care what he did. Yeah, it was dumb. Like, don't go chasing people with machete, kids. It's Don't go to riots. Don't, don't be an asshole. But William Burroughs shot his wife in the head. Uh, Naked Lunch is still a good book. Uh... Plenty of, if you're gonna if you're gonna strike off all the writers and artists who said something you didn't like or did something you didn't like, it's gonna be a short reading list. So no, we're not getting rid of the story. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, HP Lovecraft is uh, doesn't stand for huge pussy Lovecraft, you know. Uh, it stands for uh, no nope, so, uh, nope. H word pussy. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. You know, yeah, he had a. An affinity for naming pets, you know. He he was good at it. But I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, shit, I'd love to have him on the show. That'd be hilarious. Uh, I mean, I, I, I again, I don't know anything about this guy outside of the video. Like, I don't think, I just, I think about all the riots and shit. Um, I don't think anybody deserves to get the shit beat out of him. I don't think anybody deserves even fucking Apple Store to have their goddamn stores robbed because... Motherfucker, people work there in the community. You know, it's pretty shitty. And then on the other side of things, uh, and this might shock our right-wing, dissonant, terrible fucking, you know, uh, whatever. Um, I have seen way too many videos of cops being complete pieces of shit and, like, gassing the wrong people. Now, like, I know they're making a big deal out of the D.C. thing, but it's like, motherfucker, you can't get that close to the White House normally. What do you think you're doing? Stop that. Uh, but, like, you know, yeah, police... there was a There was a video yesterday of, like, a... Protest in Buffalo and the riot cops just fucking uh just fucking bodied a sixty five year old dude just and left him there writhing there on the fucking ground and this guy wasn't doing anything but protesting. Cops just punch him in the face and walk on by. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. I've seen too much of that. Um, you know, I, it's I, that's not good. Like, I'm not I'm not in support of that. Like, it's weird that. You know, you have to, like, choose between police state or anarchy. And then if you don't, people just, like, call you a faggot. You know, it doesn't it doesn't make any it doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Uh, it, 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 it kills me, really. There's there's no there's no good side on this. The cops are assholes. The rioters are assholes. If you're participating in this and you're an asshole. Yeah, you are. hundred percent. hundred percent, dude. I'm going to put my pop filter on because I'm pretty sure I'm popping. Yeah, you're popping off. No, I, <laughs> I, would, I didn't even think of that. Um, I don't know. We'll see how the... Whatever. Here, I'll just hold it. And I'll be like... Uh, no, whatever. It's fine. Uh, I, I'll, I'll remember to do it next time. But... No, the whole... the whole. I mean, the whole thing just fucking annoys the shit out of me, Matt. And I'm like... I'm trying not to you know, get into it too terribly much on Twitter and shit. I mean, there's a lot of bad takes on all sides. Um, but like, I'm not a fucking libertarian. God damn it. Stop making me take libertarian positions. You know? 
I yeah, all, all, road, all, all roads this lead to a fucking fucking police state in some form or another. Um, my favorite b- bit of the news of the week is that Minneapolis is getting rid of its police department. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't in favor know. of inclusive policing, whatever the fuck that means. I mean, that's Keith Ellison and his son. I, I really don't think that that's going to happen. I mean, this whole, like, defund police idea, I, I don't really think that's going to happen because, like, in everybody's heart of hearts, they don't want militarized police, but they're way more scared of riots and, you know, shit like that than they are of a police state. Um, in that way, you know, I guess the left, uh, whatever it is, does have it right. Um, but it's weird because they're the ones that seem to want more of this. Um, I, yeah, I don't well, know. The thing is, the thing is, realistically, like the Minneapolis example, what's going to happen is that like most of the policing functions like are not going to go to like this like inclusive uh, life coaching whatever thing they're setting up. It's going to go to the Hen- Hennepin County Sheriff's Department. So, like, you'll still be able to call 911. It'll just be less responsive because instead of having a, a specific city police department, you're going to have, you're going to be talking to people who are governing the entire county and all of its suburbs. Right. And then you'll have. There'll a... also be more, a bit more democratic accountability because sheriffs are elected. Uh, I don't know. People seem to keep forgetting about this. I keep hearing this talk of, like, we need a democratic policing alternative. We need police <laughs> accountability. Like, we have sheriffs. We've had sheriffs since the beginning of this country and a long time before that. Sheriffs are elected uh, every four years or two years or however it goes in your locality. Uh, you can go to the polling place and vote for someone to be your sheriff, which means they're accountable to you and they're not accountable to, co- to uh, you know, they're not accountable to the police unions. They're not accountable to politicians. They're accountable to you. Sounds like a pretty good system. Maybe we should bring that back. Just a thought. Yeah, I mean, I'm not against that whole idea. I mean, obviously, like, the police are uh, fucking assholes. I mean, you got to figure something out. But I think what happens is the same thing that always happens. Is like, in the na- in, in the the uh, under the flag of being inclusive and, and all of this stuff, you're going to get way too much input from nonprofit organizations like the ACLU, the SPLC, the ADL, the NAACP. All of that bullshit, and it won't be, you know, this inclusive thing. It'll just be corrupt, uh, bias, you know, uh, towards. Well, apparently, identity. I mean, in Minneapolis, like the NW NAACP was deputized or some shit. They were doing checks on people's cars. Oh, see, I wouldn't stand for that at all. Um, that's I. That's that's completely fucking ridiculous. You know, I mean, I heard about that, but I wasn't sure if it was true. Uh, cause that's, I mean, that's insane. You know, that's insane. Fuck you. I'll just buy my own police then, you know? Yeah. We're, we're moving, we're moving to a fucking model where we'll like, it'll be like what, what they have in Brazil where like the policing is all done by private organizations. And if you can afford justice, well, you're good. If not, well, buy a gun, I guess until yeah. that's taken away. Yeah. I mean, it's not too different than what we have now uh but like at least it has to go to court first before can you afford justice or not free market police brutality it's what marxism is all about yeah that's what's so wild to me like this whole defund police shit i'm like you know that just rich people will have cops and you won't right like it'll just be like gangs and shit that run the motherfucker like mafia style that's how mafia works It'll it'll be it'll literally be Cyberpunk twenty eighty four. I mean, except without all the cool fucking shit, because everybody's got a smartphone and not cybernetic implants and shit. I mean, yeah, we get to the K, we don't get the, like the the robots or the you know the clones or the flying cars. I mean, <laughs> it, it's just I mean it hurts to watch because like. You know, we can make fun of the left a thousand times over, but, like, uh, the absolute just how badly I see, like, the dissonant right just want to complain. This is not any different than it's been for a little while, but, like, want to complain and want to lose and say, oh, well, it's over, and then have no solution other than just watching the world burn is... um very telling on the fact that these are people with nothing to fucking lose. I mean, they, they are, they're not invested at all in, you know, uh, 
making the country function or anything like that. Like one of the most hilarious things uh, that I saw um, uh, on Twitter was a guy say that like, I, and I'm paraphrasing, but I'm I'm not paraphrasing too much. Like this is about what it said. Because uh, uh, I said something about, yeah, because uh, somebody was like, you know, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to vote for Trump over this. And then it's like, well, who else are you going to vote for? You know, that's kind of the age old dilemma there. It sucks. Um, and he was like, democracy is the, uh, the stupid versus the intelligent. And, uh, if you're trying to choose between a lesser of two evils, then you are my oppressor opt out. And it's like, well, that's fucking retarded. You know, that's just stupid. I mean, that's how a 22 year old thinks. Exactly. You know, it's, that's a, a big issue with a lot of the, 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 the dissident, uh, right. Is that like a lot of them are just fucking kids who were, you know, Democrats a, a few years ago. Uh, and that's like, that's, I mean, not to, not to sound like a boomer. That's how a Democrat thinks, you know, it was like, well, I will just vote for the green party. And it's like, you should do that so that the Republican wins, jackass. Like, at least if the Republican wins, we'll probably get slightly lower taxes. Like, that's that's it. I corporate bailouts, you're gonna get them either way. It's just a matter of for who. Um, and slightly lower taxes sounds good to me. You know. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I've got a gripe with the people who are blaming uh, democracy for this. Like, oh, this is the failure of democracy. Um, looks to me like a bunch of uh, malcontents in the government and corporations are trying to weaponize this chaos to remove a democratically elected president. So it doesn't look like the problem is democracy to me. It looks like a certain group of, uh, of moneyed uh, people are trying to subvert democracy. I don't know. That's just my perspective as uh, someone who pays taxes and has a job. You know, so, you know, I, I have skin in the game. So what do I know? Yeah. No, I mean, that's, what's the most frightening thing of all is like how many fucking assholes, uh, will like talk the talk on like fuck Amazon and all of this. And I'm not even saying like boycott Amazon because I mean, it just doesn't work. You know, boycotts don't work. Amazon doesn't care if you have an Amazon prime account or not, dude, they're going to keep on trucking along, but at least just admit that that's what's going on, you know, at least just admit it and go, okay, this is, this is the game now. How the fuck do I work my life around it? Cause like, I think, I think if you're trying to change anything, you've already lost. Um, if you look at what things are and figure out how you can personally win, then you're on your way to, you know, a better, uh, a better future for yourself. And it's still a, a, a hellscape. Don't get me wrong. I mean, every day is torture. I don't know a single person that's happy, but you know, it, it's to blame democracy, to blame Trump. I mean, and Trump's involved in this for sure. You know, I mean, this is the, there's, there's just no excuse for revolution sponsored by Chase Bank and Coca-Cola. Um, it's it's weird. Do you, do you see that one TikTok video of that guy who was like, Bank of oh, America? Oh, the guy was like, my bank is is giving yeah. fifty billion. Yeah, that's my bank, baby. <laughs> you fucking loser. I don't think there's anybody serious about uh, their views that's like, fuck yeah, my bank. <laughs> Yay, yeah, bank. I'm about as capitalist as you can get for having my views. And I am still like, fuck banks. You remember you remember 10 years ago when Occupy Wall Street happened and we were all angry at banks? It's yeah. that's over now. Hey, you remember uh, what about 15 years before that when uh, Antifa went to uh, 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 whenever 1999 was? Yeah, in Seattle. Seattle, w WTO. WTO protests and was against globalization. You know, my, my, see, my. Br how did things the change? Brighton. But see, Brian, we're breaking the rules by mentioning actual times and places and examples. Uh, you just have to be a, a, a 22 year old loser praying for the world to burn. Yeah, I don't understand why you'd want the world to burn while you're on it. I mean, once I'm dead, then the world can do whatever it wants. I don't give a shit. 
you know, um, I have fun, losers. I'm dead. Like, I don't care. But, I mean, it always goes back to that fucking Mark Twain uh, bullshit that's quoted too much, but I still love. It's like, the world doesn't know you anything. It was here first. And that's about the harshest piece of reality that I think anybody could get. And I remember being, you know, a teenager, kind of. I, I at least remember, like, how passionate and irrational I was. Um, you know, and I'm consistently still to this day passionate and irrational. Um, but, like, I mean, I get it. I get what it's like to be, like, 22 and want to fucking change the world. And if you don't feel like that at 22, then, like, you've got a problem you know but to sit here and think that those guys opinions are as valid as ours is silly but that's been every generation you know what is this bullshit now with like these uh, young girls recording themselves screaming at their parents irrationally um that's straight it's up a- 1984 shit it's 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 literally it's it's literally Maoist China where children were trained to fucking inform on their parents, you know. Only instead of having only instead of reporting to the commissars, they just blast it out online. Like there's gonna be a wave of like teenage girls doxing their parents for racism and getting them fired from their jobs. Just count on it. Oh, I mean I could totally see it. But the thing is all these kids look like blithering fucking idiots because they are, because they're just kids. You know, like I don't really blame these kids, I just think that they're stupid. Because they're kids, you know, like it's, um, I, the whole tattletale thing is completely ridiculous, but like to, to, to do that to your own parents is, is pretty weird. And like, think of this, like, do you remember when you were a kid, who the fuck did you hate more than your parents? You know, cause they, they didn't know anything. They were stupid. They didn't care about the world, man. And, like, that's been every generation. Every generation thinks that the one before it didn't think for a second, like, fuck, I wish things were better. This is terrible. And they just thought they were only out for themselves. And that's why things are the way that they are. And fuck, you know, everything. Like, everybody who complains about boomers, and I have a bunch, you know, for sure. But everybody who complains about boomers will eventually become that same thing and go like okay who gives a shit i gotta fucking get my own plan going you know like here's my plan um i don't care about anything that's going on i have to fucking figure out what stocks i'm picking on monday you know because i got out too early on thursday you know like that that's that's literally the only shit that i care about right now besides like you know some other real life shit that only affects me doesn't affect anybody listening to this it doesn't affect you it barely affects erica you know it's just shit that i gotta get fucking figured out um dude not every generation before you was some heartless piece of shit you know like i i don't i think we're getting to the age where like dude i'm concerned about these fucking riots and, and and stuff because i'm worried about civil unrest i'm not i don't I think what happened to George Floyd was fucking horrible. I don't think many people disagree with that. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't fucking choke a guy until kneel on him until he fucking passes out and dies. That's bad. I don't think. I don't think anyone disagrees. No matter uh, how with many notion. No matter how yeah. many drugs he's doing. Oh come on! And 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 uh, you know the drugs were awesome. Okay, we have to fucking. Yeah. Oh yeah, that. fuck yeah, like, dude. That guy's a tank. He kicks ass. Marijuana, fentanyl, uh, meth. Uh, and some other shit. And this dude was just like walking around, just like you know, in a struggle with police. Like that's fucking awesome. I can't even take Vicodin without wanting to pass out. Uh, I I I can do a lot of Vicodin. Um, it makes me throw up, but I'll just do more Vicodin. But well, I say that, but I like I think the last time I did, I was like twenty three. So no, I'd probably die now. Um, <laughs> I probably can't do drugs at all anymore. <laughs> I would just fucking die. But, I mean, and also, like, the thing is, too, like, what people bring up with the George Floyd thing, they're like, and he committed a violent crime five years previous to this. And I'm like, yeah, he sure fucking did. That, I, I've seen the video of him not resisting arrest, though. Like, you got to figure that out, like, in the legal system. We need to have a legal system or, or we don't. That's been my complaint about a lot of very rich people is that they seem to get off of everything. You know, we need to either have laws or we don't. And... You know, it's, it's, that guy's past crimes, as heinous as they may be, um, 
it doesn't deserve what happened to the dude. You know, I don't care how many drugs he got on. I don't care what his past was. You still don't do that shit. You know, um, but you know what is actually worse than that? Everything that's happened since then, because everything yeah, that happened I mean, since like, then is fake. Like this is all yeah, bullshit. I can, yeah, I can guarantee you that the people out on the streets right now, like if it wasn't if it wasn't for those uh, OWS, uh, you know, human mic chants, they probably wouldn't even remember the guy's name. Sure. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, you know, I like. I, it's just so irrelevant to me though, like at this point. And I think like, it probably is, uh, to you as well. I mean, to go back to the, the original point that I was trying to make, which, uh, I, I think I failed to do was I'm tired of hearing about kids on both sides, having opinions about shit. When did we start valuing the opinions of children? Their brains aren't even developed. Hey. Brains aren't developed. And they're already like, like, let's look at this from like a practical perspective. And I think the, the they don't even the vote. Campaign should put this in the, they don't vote. Yeah, they don't vote. So, like, who gives a shit about some fucking retard kid's opinion on one side or the other? Who gives a shit? I I don't care. I'm tired of being like told their opinions as well. Um, but I can just ignore their opinions, like on Twitter or whatever. I'd be like, yeah, that's just a dumbass kid. But when you have corporations and all of the media, all of this lifting up these fucking voices, you know, I, like I thought Greta Thunberg was like going to be the end of that shit because it was retarded. David Hogg made an appearance again recently on my on my Twitter and I had completely forgotten about that piece of shit, you know. No, nah, he, he vanished from the headlines. He had some tweet like, uh, my World War Two father, uh, you know, <laughs> something uh uh, Trump labeled them terrorists. Like my my father was uh, uh, a part of the World War II Antifa forces. Uh, you know who was also part of the World War II Antifa forces? George Wallace, the guy who literally wanted to uh, you know enshrine segregation and pledged to run over protesters in his in his car. <laughs> Wait, uh, was it Rockwell in World War II? Yeah, you, yeah, him too. Uh, George Lincoln Rockwell, famous Antifa. Yeah. <laughs> I love that fucking talking point because it's so fucking stupid. Need me like the meme of like a fucking, uh, you know, like gauged eared, spiky haired, anti, you know, half fat Antifa just staring at a picture of Audie Murphy and being like, <laughs> my ancestor. Yeah. Uh,. Yeah, no, the whole fucking thing is dumb, dude. I mean, I uh, what uh, today's D Day, right? Uh, the day of our recording. Today is today is D Day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the day the, the day a group uh, ragtag band the B Hawk stormed the beaches of Normandy and unnazi the world. Well, that's, that's... oh excuse me, B Hawk, B Pock, not B Hawk. I I can't keep up on these new new abbreviations. I don't know what that means. It, I found out what it means earlier this week. It means black and indigenous people of color. Because POC wasn't enough. Now we have to have BPOC. Listen, these people can't even say ask correctly. How are they going to fucking say all these new words? That was a hilarious joke. I'm liking it was, that it one. It was fun. No, that was yeah, a good it's, one. It was a good one, yeah. That was a good one. I'm not uh, fucking racist or anything. Um, not me, dude. I would never fucking say anything like that. I'm not racist. I smoke menthols. Yeah. Well, they're gonna outlaw that shit too for some fucking reason. Uh, because of children, what? God damn it. They're outlawing menthols. Well, I know they did it in Chicago, but they're doing it elsewhere. How, well, that explains the riots. What the fuck? I yeah I don't know I just know they were talking about it I, I now they've moved on to race war so I think we're probably over the menthol thing for a little while. Yeah, well, they're trying to bring they're trying to bring Corona back. You know, yeah. we've got all these talk about uh, social distancing all of a sudden. You know, after God knows how many people you know turn into gigantic disease vectors going to these fucking riots. That's... It's a little late for that, guys. A little late. See, that's what's really funny because you remember they tried to make Corona uh, racist because they were like, black people are disproportionately affected. Why could this be? And then uh, now, I Trump can just be like, 
well, I don't know who was at the riots. <laughs> Except now he's like saying it was all like Jewish teenagers in Antifa or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, no, that'll be fine. They'll still be able to pull that one. Why is this disproportionately affecting black people? You know, it was only white people. It was white Antifa and white supremacists, the Boogaloo Boys, that were uh, rioting. Not a single black person rioted. And how, how fortuitous that we have the military on the streets right now that they're talking about a second wave in the fall. That's very, very fortuitous, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I yeah, they can just set up checkpoints, fucking test your ass, shoot you in the head, whatever. You know, Cloverfield, bitch. How cool would it be if actually yeah. the coronavirus did was just the uh, Cloverfield monster? <laughs> I'll, that would be I, great. That would kick ass, dude. Like, if it was just the Cloverfield monster, but, like, it had one of those straw hats on and buck teeth and slanty eyes. <laughs> All, like, nine of its eyes were, like, little shiny eyes. <laughs> and it was like, oh! <laughs> Now, now, I'm, now I'm thinking of like the final boss from Final Fantasy X that like gives off poison dandruff. Like that's coronavirus right there. Yeah, fuck him. Make him Chinese too. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, that'd be awesome. You get, I was like hanging out with John Goodman. You know, he's like, don't go out there. There's fucking Chinese people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I guess the... I, I, I'm, I'm waiting on this quote unquote second wave bullshit because, like, you know, George Floyd had coronavirus. Apparently, everybody's got fucking coronavirus. Well, that's one way to deal with the flu, you know, meth, uh, fentanyl, and and uh, marijuana. Yeah, I mean, that was the other thing. Like, he kicks ass. He like he had he had the most deadly disease to ever disease in its entire fucking existence. Uh, on top of it. They should be they should they should be putting that guy's body in like a lab for analysis. Well, they like what what well, they genetic in, sequence? They put it in two of them. One of them was the guy that did Jeffrey Epstein's autopsy, apparently. Oh, yeah, oh they, man, yeah. The other one was the guy that uh, you know does all of the autopsies for the cops. So again, it comes back to two groups of pieces of shit that I don't trust. I like to imagine that George Floyd is still alive. He's in Tel Aviv. He's chilling in Jeffrey Epstein's rec room. He's got unlimited fentanyl from Mossad's witness protection budget. Wouldn't that be a happy ending? That actually would be fucking baller as shit. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't really want to go to Tel Aviv. I want to go to Dubai, but... Uh, yeah, fuck it. Kill me on TV. I don't give a shit. You don't even have to send me anywhere. Just kill me on TV. Just kill me. If you could, just just roll up, put your fucking knee against my neck for eight minutes and just, you know. I, somebody can make a mural of me. But it's like that picture of me and Mike Tokes, you know. It's like, I'm defined by one bit that I did for the rest of my life, you know. It's great. It's good. We'll, we'll, spray, we'll spray paint it all around the world. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I've done some pretty fucking bad bits, but, like, imagine, like, getting killed by police. Like, that's that's the worst bit. That's not funny at all. Like, people, I'm trying desperately to make it funny, but, like, you know, it's hard to do. Well, they'd have to kill you, and I guess in some hilarious fashion. I mean, I don't know. Pretty brutally in front of everyone, and uh, everyone agrees is kind of funny because of the reaction to it which is now we're all mad and no one is agreeing on things anymore like you would have think that'd be like a uniting thing for the nation to be like oh yeah that 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 guy's a dick those people were wrong for what they did but instead now we're just kind of back to um fuck you donald trump fuck you joe biden it's great yeah it's like it's like a 20, 2016 redux but like just Gayer and it's it's definitely a fucking sequel. I, well, did you know this? Uh, so like the markets have been up. Um, like I, yesterday was like fucking great. Um, 
especially considering I, what everybody thought was going to happen. But did you know uh, in 1968, uh, that was when Martin Luther King was assassinated. Um, some people like myself say by the government, but, uh, you know, just in general, he was assassinated. There was race riots. And 100,000 people died of something called the Hong Kong flu. What? The, yes, the Hong Kong flu killed 100,000 people in uh, 1968. We had race riots because of the assassination of Martin Luther King. And the S&P finished the year 11% up. This is 100% a fucking rerun. We are we are literally we're we're in the fucking simulation. Oh no, I think it was, I think it was CERN. I think it was the the Large Hadron uh, Collider that that fucked everything up. How so? Ah, they did their shit. They fucked with it, looking for the God particle, and uh, they got the whole entire everything out of whack. Fuck it, why not? Why that's just as sensible as I saw the National Guard doing the electric slide. Or no, it was the Macarena, which is even more ridiculous, with protesters. Like, I fucking hate the Macarena. I, I, I'm indifferent to the Macarena. But, um, excuse me, sorry. It's still fucking weird. And, like, uh, nobody can say anything that's happened since 2012 feels real anymore. Like, we're just, we've gotten to the point that, like, I, nothing feels real. It just, it huge amounts of despair um everything is more and more ridiculous you hate your friends you know like i i, I don't even I, I actually might just be projecting and describing my own fucking depression through my entire adult life but i don't think i'm alone in this one well i mean 2012 was when uh, you know the apocalypse was supposed to happen was when we were supposed to, uh, according to the law of one, we were supposed to transition to the fourth density. Maybe we did, and, you know, this is literally hell. Yeah, maybe we did transition to the fourth entity, and it turns out the fourth entity is a dumb asshole. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it may just be that, you know. I mean, I'm not too particularly worried. Uh, you can't worry. I mean, like, my life has been hell for so long that it's like, yeah, I don't sleep a lot because I have nightmares. And, like, you just do that for years and uh, develop a drinking problem. And, um, you know, like, before I lose all of my money and become homeless, I'll just shoot myself. Like, I already have an exit plan, you know, of, of everything. Uh, I'm not worried. I get into everything with an exit plan. That's why I'm going to be a hell of a trader, you know. Uh, you gotta have an exit plan. Oh yeah, let's talk stocks for a second. Um, yeah, let's talk stocks. Um, yeah, this is very important information. Well, it's not really that important. It's just, uh, it's kind of funny. No, it's important to me, and that's what matters. <laughs> um, I was shocked as fuck by this jobs report. The, I, okay, I wasn't shocked by this jobs report, uh, which said two million, uh, it, like it's two million new jobs. Um. But uh, that it was, you know, down, uh, the unemployment, you know, was down uh, by two million. Um, I was shocked by the response to it, which I think was probably a bunch of computers day trading because there's like no reason that any part and then human beings reacting to it, which why would you react to uh, why would you react negatively to a bull market? You know, um, it's, uh, you, you know, you just get in and ride it and get out before it fucking goes bare, you know? But, I, of which I did not do. I just played Skyrim because um, I sold my shit the day before. I got up everything the day before and I'm kicking myself in the butt for it. But those jobs are people that were furloughed. You know, these are not, like, this is just people coming back to work. And two million is not a great number. Trump went out there, did this whole fucking speech, talking about a fucking, uh, you know, like, oh, it's not even a V recovery. It's a rocket fucking bullshit recovery. I mean, it's not. It's really not. 14 million still out of work. That's not including the disgruntled workers' numbers. Um, you know, it, it's... I, 
I I don't like it's it. More at like all. a lot of handling with the hook. It's what? It's a lot of uh, handling with the hook. A lot of it is one of those shooting so it Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just I mean, it's it's a whole bunch of fucking bullshit, is what it is. You know, for him to go out there and make this dumb speech or whatever, it's I I I, I hated it. I hated every fucking moment of it. I mean, I I still think we're gonna have a recession. Um, a pretty brutal one. Hopefully it won't be too terribly long, but yeah, to like sit there and be like, Oh, we have a huge fucking, (laughs) a huge, uh, unemployment rate. And then just be like, Oh no, this is awesome is retarded. Although I did think it was funny. Some guy from CNN was like, uh, Donald Trump talks about uh, how low the black unemployment rate is. Uh, here's what it was under Obama, and here's what it is today under Donald Trump. And it's like, you guys were the ones pushing all the shit that we need to shut everything down, asshole. Like, coronavirus, he also, dickhead. He also, did a, he also did a troll on the press corps by, like, forcing their, their seats closer to together so they the social Yeah. Dude, it's raining crazy hard there, huh? Yeah, that's why I've been meeting with Michael and not speaking Oh yeah, I just wanted people to know what it was because it sounded like uh, you you were like coming in through a, a radio. Um, yeah, apparently, 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 the the wrath of God is being poured out on the radio right now. Dude, I can hear it. It's fucking nuts. But yeah, you're talking about Acosta's tweet, right? Where he was like, uh, "Yeah, yeah, like here's here's how they made us sit." It's like you just told black people to go into the streets. Like, what are you doing, dude? Um, I don't know if he said that exactly, but I know that his network did. Um, what an absolute fucking nightmare. I I, I don't know when they're going to bring the Corona stuff back. I think they're going to try to do it. Do you think anybody's going to f- fucking abide by any of this shit that's not like, you know, just rich white people? Because it seems like they were the only ones towards the end that wanted to do it anyway. And I, I don't know if anybody is going to fucking do this shit anymore. Like, Well, I mean... Uh, people may not want to obey, but if the military is on the streets shooting people, yeah, I mean, I guess I could see it. You know, it just uh, I, uh... well, yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, with regards to like, you know, they tried to collapse the economy with a big pandemic, didn't really work. They're trying to collapse it now with riots. It's not really working. Um, What's next? Like a fake alien invasion? I mean, fuck it. At least that'd be entertaining as shit. And not just me going, oh, this is all everything Alex Jones has said. Like, fuck it. Give me a, give me a fucking alien invasion any day. I don't care anymore. I, I, I don't. I don't know how I'm supposed to care anymore. And, like, what am I supposed to fucking... What am I supposed to put money in for the alien invasion shit to work? I don't know. Is, is, is lasers... A stock? I, I don't know. Who makes lasers? I guess I guess you would have to go to Northrop Grumman and you would just I, I don't I just don't know what you're supposed to do. I don't know why anybody's supposed to care at this point. Like it's pretty apparent that everything is bullshit and we've been lied to. Uh and then same goes for the fucking riots. Like, I mean this is, you know, this is CIA bullshit, dude. It's CIA spook bullshit. Um, I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't sit here and like even pretend that there's any other opinion, you know, that needs to be like thought of by me. And I wonder. Well, that, that's kind of that's kind of uh, I think the direction they must have been going. This is just massive industrial gaslight. Getting people so confused and mentally exhausted that they just submit to establish power because they just can't fight with them. Like, not even, and I'm not talking about go out, fight the power. I'm talking about just the mental of, like, trying to keep uh, things straight in the head. Oh, I mean, I still hate all of this shit. I'm still going to tell people I hate all of this shit. But again, my whole fucking point, or not my whole point, but, like, my whole point in life, I guess. Is okay. Fuck it. Um, we're gonna have a police state. 
what types of guns do police use? Because I got to invest in the manufacturer. <laughs> you know, like who who gives a shit anymore at this point? So I can make twenty bucks. Like and who makes their uniforms? You know, who, right. who makes manufactures the batons? You know, is there a private prison with a fucking stock ticker? Because I'll get in it right now. You know, I disagree with private prisons, but fuck it, I'd get in right now. I was going to suggest people uh, invest in the academy stock, but they're not a pro- they're not public at this. Well, maybe, but maybe they'll go pro- maybe they'll go public after this. Would be an Do idea not time. invest in fucking weed stocks. That shit always is penny stocks and it goes belly up. I didn't. I didn't academy's not weed. Academy used to be known as Blackwater. I've never heard of uh, Academy Weed. Well, anywhere. they changed their name because, you know, Blackwater is all sinister. And they, got all the so they got a name that was that sounded less like uh, the organization with Jake. Yeah, I don't know. I doubt any of that's publicly traded, so nothing I can do about it. Um, you know, I just, I, like at this point, it's like, fuck it. I'm just going to try to lose all my money. I don't give a shit anymore. You know, what do you what do you got to lose? Yeah, I'm just going to try and make money. You know, I just I don't even want that much money. I just want enough that I can just be left alone. Nobody's ever going to leave you alone, but you'll never be left alone. That's yeah, but I part. need to I need I I need to hold on to that delusion. I mean, I've had all my delusions stripped away. I need to I need, I just need this, Brian. Yeah, I know. We all do. Um, <laughs> can you imagine being one of those nerds out there, like holding a sign that's like "White silence is violence"? It's like, shut up, Jew. <laughs> now the response to that is like, if white silence is violence, I'm full cunt. <laughs> well, it's like I'm not silent about it. Uh, I, I I'm I'm right there going. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Yeah, the whole yeah. There you just, go. Just I, I don't know. I'm embarrassed by uh, a lot of people doing the kneeling shit. Cause like I mean like whatever they want to dance with people. That's fine. I mean that goes back a long way. It's stupid, but do the chicken dance. I don't give a fuck. Um, but the kneeling thing is new, and. Uh, that has huge fucking overtones of submission. Um, yeah, it started with Colin Kaepernick, and now it's filtered down to the base of the demographic pyramid. That guy's a real piece of shit. Shitty ball player, too. But, you know, a good businessman, because he managed to leverage uh, his absolute lack of talent at football into a, a, a career in social justice. Like, you remember that Michael Sam guy? Who no. got drafted by the Rams in 2013? The first openly gay player in the NFL. Oh, he's yeah, a shit yeah. player who the Rams cut him at the end of training camp because it sucked. Uh, no other team wanted to take him on because it sucked. He ended up playing for the <laughs> Montreal Alouettes in the Canadian Football League for a season, and then he just retired altogether. Well, I mean that happens to a lot of people. I think the media put a big old attention on him because he's gay. Um, he didn't pull a Kaepernick, you know, like he just seems like he just retired into obscurity, but Kaepernick was like, fuck this shit. Uh, I have the time and resources cause my, uh, rich white adopted parents. And uh, yeah, yeah. Kaepernick's a fucking yeah, Sa- asshole. Sam, yeah. Sam's big made big mistake was that he just came along too early. He couldn't take advantage of the game. But Kaepernick was just right at the crest. You know, he's, he, he he put all he put all his uh, money in social justice. He put all of his clout there, and man, man, did it pay off. Yeah, I mean, it's it's weird. Like even even people comparing, you know, um, Colin Kaepernick to I, the, the any of the protesting thing. You're like, you called them bastards or sons of bitches or whatever the fuck. Um, None of those NFL players were looting stores at that time. I mean, they do love to do that, but none of them were doing it at that time. 
I don't yeah. know. I don't well, know. I don't know how anybody can ignore the looters, and I don't know how anybody can ignore the the police violence. But apparently, you have to pick a fucking side, and uh, I'm, I've refused to because I don't care enough about any of you to do something like that. Like I'll just, I, yeah, cops shouldn't beat the crap out of people for no reason. You also shouldn't give cops a reason to beat the shit out of you, dude. Yeah. Also, yeah, and and I just got that uh, you know real big fish song on repeat in my head. Everyone else is an asshole. <laughs> I mean, I just good song. I, I just don't know. I mean, what what there is anymore? Everything is just like a one story news month. You know, I kind of uh, unless Donald Trump farts, you know, with that. But the whole thing's a nightmare. I don't. I just don't know what to think of it all. I think. I think what we're trying to get at here is that the entire world is fake. Yeah, probably that. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, the storm here just keeps getting worse. Now we've got thunder, which is a uh, hilarious coincidence. Uh, most of Toronto this weekend is not going to have well, running water because uh, the local municipal authority is upgrading the uh, the reservoir. Uh, but for some reason, I still have one, which is pretty awesome. I'm sure there's, there's going to be Albanians out on the street now just collecting rainwater and fucking jugs. Yeah, that sounds awful. Um, so we've got, we got nine minutes to hit an hour and then I gotta go take a, a nap because I have not slept much in the past two days because I've been playing fucking Skyrim. Um, what was the last thing? Did you have a last thing you wanted to bring up? Well, yeah, I was going to mention, uh, well, we've got our, our new book coming out, uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, that's good. Well, actually, it'll be next week when this goes up, uh. June nineteenth, uh, masculinity amidst madness by Ryan Landry. Well, you know Ryan, um, longtime contributor at sites like Social Matter, The American Sun. Um, he's back, and his first ever book is uh, coincidental timing as the fucking planet is uh, collapsing into chaos. A sort of a philosophy book on just how to how to survive as a man in this world that's just going to get worse and shittier and gayer. And, more obnoxious. Uh, we've got the rave advanced reviews coming in from uh, uh, Rouge V, Bad Billy Pratt, and others. It's a really good book. Uh, it's got a cover by uh, Owen, Owen Cyclops, uh, Owen Broadcast on Twitter. Um, and the foreword was written by uh, Bronze H. Perfect, author of the smash hit Bronze Age Mindset. It's going to be a good book. It's, it's fantastic stuff. Uh, Pre orders will be, be available soon. You can, of course, sign up to the Terror House mailing list to get that uh, when it hits. Uh, book will be out on June nineteenth. Um, I'll be doing an interview with Landry, uh, print it, print interview next week. Uh, we'll be posting an excerpt from the book. Uh, go check it out. It's awesome stuff. I don't know anything else uh, you wanted to bring up, Ryan? No, that uh, that's about it. We well, got a, about a hot hour here. Let's let's call it. Uh, anything you want to uh, plug? Uh, um, police. You know, we, we love we love our police. You should join the police and be the police and just love them. Also, uh, protesting. I really love uh, protesting, dude. Because uh, it only, I mean, like, I hate to do it, but it just gets so much stuff done. Yeah, I, I, I do believe that, uh, that the police are very good. I, I'm particularly a fan of Stuart Copland. I don't know. Is that a cartoon that, mouse? Because that's what it sounds the police, like. The police, the band. Oh, yeah. You're talking about Sting? Yes. Yeah. The police is good. I mean, you should go check out Brian. On... To... You should good. go check out Brian on D-Live. He uh, just made verified partner status, which is awesome. I did, yeah. I did. And, his, uh, <laughs> and of course, website, brianandproctor.com. His Twitter... Uh, and all that stuff will be linked. Go check it out. You can, of course, check me out at mattpointy.com, Telegram, DLive, uh, YouTube. Uh, all that shit's in the uh, description. Um, yeah, go go check go go check uh, all 
all of that uh, shit. And that will do it for this episode of Terror House Radio. Be sure to check out every day at Terror House Magazine, terrorhousemag.com for our latest publications. Check out our books at Terror House Press, terrorhousepress.com. Masculinity Amidst Madness by Brian Landry coming June 19th. Follow our social media links in the description. And don't forget that you can always check out past episodes of Terror House Radio at terrorhouseradio.com. Terror House Radio is produced by Brian Proctor and presented by Jugs. Intro music by Mute Extremist, the legitimate on cover on them. Down with the bastards, grinding down. I'm Matt Forney with Brian Proctor, and we are out. Oh, yeah.